The lei is a quintessential part of Hawaii, a symbol stretching back to ancient times. But lei are not one size fits all. And across the Hawaiian islands, there are many lei makers and many style of lei. This is Bill Char, a legend in traditional Hawaiian lei making. The early people did very simple leis. They weren't these gorgeous, colorful leis like this today. This is just done with ferns. It's one object just braided on itself. A lot of them were very simple, like tea leaf lei, used for symbolic purposes. When you're making a lei, and it's like a a backbone, your family ties. And you're adding each flower is sort of like a person, your cousin, your sister, your auntie, your brother. All along, you're wrapping on top of the stems. That is the backbone of your family. And it just keeps going on and on. Then you have your leg. Cruise lines would come in. Those are the old days and people would come and they would get their leis and it was part of the tradition to stop in Hawaii. When you stop, you got a lei. When tourists began coming to the islands, a sewn style of lei called kui became popular and Chinatown was the place to get them. One of the many places in Chinatown is called Cindy's Lei and Flower Shop. It's been in business for 50 years. In the very beginning, there were maybe like four, four or five different types of leis. Now you have like 40, 40 or more. 50 years ago, flowers are still being made the same way, needle and string. The flowers get delivered here and we sort them out and we string them the best we can. We craft so that it looks natural, open. Lei making is passed down through family tradition and continues to find new expression in the next generation. My tutu, or grandmother, and she was a pretty prolific lei maker in Hawaii. I helped her make lei. I sat there and cleaned her flowers. And I just got to sort of be immersed in her passion of lei making. There's many different styles of leis. I personally specialize in making haku lei. A haku lei is generally worn on your head, lei po, like I'm wearing mine on my head. Some people wear them around their neck. And haku just refers to the um, traditional style of making it. Here we go. They have lots of different materials in them usually. In Hawaii, you don't show up to a birthday party, you don't show up to a wedding, you don't show up to a baby shower without a lei for somebody. A lei represents you. You don't take your lei off because your mana, your spirit, is already part of this lei. I think that's one of the best ways to say a gift from the heart. Floral, sweet, tactile, uh, visual, and very special. You know that if you got a lei or if you gifted a lei, you had a connection with Hawaii. Lei in Hawaii is the ultimate expression of aloha. Hawaiians, we have an innate aloha spirit, you know, which is a warm, welcoming, stay with me, eat with me, share with me. And I think that is sort of embodied in a lei.